Once you've installed the Insert Learning Extension, it should be up here. And you'll want to click on it and get into it so that you can connect it with everything you're going to do. When you click on it, the toolbar shows up over here. This is what students are going to see as well. They obviously aren't going to be assigning anything, but they have the same toolbar. They can highlight the text. They can put in sticky notes. You can insert a question. You can insert a discussion. The very first thing you want to do when you're setting this up for the first time is get down here to more options. We can assign directly to students right here. We can share with other teachers, edit the lesson information, see what it's going to look like as a student, print that lesson if we needed a hard copy, get free months, help and support, or go to the dashboard to set up your classes in Google Classroom because it does integrate really nicely. You want to go to the dashboard. And here's where you're going to sign in with Google like you just saw flash through. I'm signed in. And you want to go in and see what your options are. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six of these. You have five free on the unpaid version. I snuck around that and kept deleting the oldest one to make a new one. I don't want to delete these anymore. I want to keep using some of these, so I splurged the school year and I paid for the full version. That's kind of a big deal for me. So here are your lessons. Here's anything that's graded and how you can filter by class. We'll come back to that when we have something to grade. Here are all of your classes. Now, I've got old classes that I could get rid of because I'm no longer teaching these sections. I go in and delete those and kind of clean things up. Type in the class name to confirm, and I can go in and, can and complete all of those things. What I want to do tonight is add a new class. I need to create this class so that I have it and can use it with my first hour class. I'm going to import that from Google Classroom, which would let me get right to the class I wanted to use. So here's English 12. I'm going to import it directly from there. And voila, there it is. It's that easy to insert that class and have it exactly like you want it. So that's your first step. Import the class you want to use with it. I'm going to clean up this dashboard so I don't have classes from several years ago showing up. In the next video, we'll create our content on the website and then we'll assign it out. First thing, get your classes set up in the Insert Learning dashboard.